Hey, <laughs> yeah, I'm back. And I'm gonna always come back as long as God tells me to. <laughs> Let me just say that. Let me put that disclaimer out. But, um, you know, we've been talking about deeper things and uh, we don't get to define the deeper things. I want to let you know that God defines the deeper things and the deeper things can d differ based on our lives. So I want us to have that caveat too. Where God may be calling me deeper too may not be where he's calling you deeper too, but we still need to adventure into just deeper things. But these are the things that we're talking about are some of the general deeper things that God would probably have all of us to understand. And so today, or this Friday, we're going to talk about we talked about um, how deep is your well. We talked about, we asked the question about what is in your well. Today, we're going to talk about everything in your well can be a blessing or a curse. <laughs> it could be made to be good or bad, good or evil purposes. You have to choose. And then you know, I thought about this because, you know, you can be a parent, right? And you can be a, a blessing to your children or you can be a curse to your children. You get to choose. Um, the law, you know, the law can be a blessing to you or the law can be a curse to you. A blessing because you choose to obey it, a curse because you choose not to. Um, our faith can be a blessing or a curse. Um, we can choose to put our faith in the wrong things, in the wrong people, in the wrong situations where it could be a curse versus a blessing. Although my faith is a blessing and if I apply it appropriately, it can yield me great opportunities, um, a great uh, uh, abundance of life because it, it causes me to take risk and do things that I would normally uh, do because I believe all things are possible. Uh, you can have a home and, you know, your home can be a blessing or a curse to you. Um, your home can be a blessing if you bought a home that was within your means and you can financially and fiscally pay for it. But it can be a curse if you decided that I'm going to go out and pick something that is above my means and I don't, you know, and so now I'm struggling and don't get me wrong, you can make it through and you can keep the house and, and sometimes people lose them, but but it's, it's just such a late, such a laborious task and you're struggling all the time. Um, your family can be a blessing or a curse to you. Your family can bring good things to your life or your family can um, treat you wrong and um, cause you to lack confidence and cause you to have low self-esteem. Um, you know, a teacher can be a blessing or a curse to you. Um, the teacher can bring forth affirm positive affirmations and really encourage you in your learning, even when you are struggling, um, helping you to find resources that can help you in your learning. Or the teacher can be very um, arrogant and rude and um, really insinuate that you are not as intelligent um, and unable to do what you need to do. Same thing with a job, but I can go on and on. But I'm telling you, any everything in life can be a blessing or a curse. Social media can be a blessing or a curse. A lot of money can be a blessing or a curse. If you get a lot of money and you have you use wisdom with it, it could be a blessing to you and others. But if you don't, it could be a curse. It could attract the wrong people, cause you to go into the wrong, uh, cause you to do things that you wouldn't do if you didn't have money, things that are not appropriate for your life. So I just wanted to establish that today that, you know, whatever's in your well, it could be a blessing and curse. And even, watch this, whether you put it there or whether God placed it there. Yep. We have the authority to use it as we choose. That's free will. That's free will. And so it can bring you, um, you know, blessings is something that can make you happy and content. A curse can make you unhappy and bring you bad and evil things into your life or into the lives of others. Um, you know, but I want to, um, I also want to tell you that Blessings and curses are not determined by God's actions. You know, God is God and 
God is going to keep God's word and God is going to do what God said he would do. Does that make sense? It's that, you know, God is not sitting up there talking, about, oh, I'm going to bless her, I'm going to curse her, I'm going to bless her, I'm going to curse her, I'm going to bless her, I'm going to curse her, I'm going to bless her, I'm going to curse her. That's not how, that's not how it works. <laughs> People may do that, but that's not what God does. What I want you to understand is that blessings or curse, curses happened based on our actions based on where we birth things from, the heart that we birth things out of, that's where the, that's how the things in our well or the things in our lives or in our wells or the things in our lives are defined as blessing or cursing, curses. It's not God, it's, it's us. So I'm going to give you some scripture. Um, Matthew chapter 12, verse 33, it says, "One make a tree good, and its fruit will be good. Or make a tree bad, and its fruit will be bad. For a tree is recognized by its fruit. And so, that's the same thing that's in your well. If God give you hope, your hope could be used for good or bad. Yeah, you can hope that, you know, the people on the street are, you know, are fed and that they're not cold, the homeless people. Or your hope could be in that I can go and mm, harm somebody or rob somebody and I can get away with it. You're using the same hope. You're just using one as a blessing and as a curse. And so scripture is telling us, listen, make your actions good or bad. Now, I didn't say perfect. See, there's a difference. I think we get those confused. You know, we can make mistakes. That's what perfect means. I made a mistake. But good or bad means when my intentions, my heart, it, it was already intended to do good or bad. When I decided to do it, I decided that it was going to be in a good place or it was going to be in a bad place. So you need to make the things in your well or the things in your heart or the things in your life good or bad. You get to de define that, not God. Because in 35, it says, a good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him. And an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. Or a good woman, it doesn't matter if you can put either one. We birth those things. So you need to understand, and, and you know, I think it was Flip Wilson, I don't know. <laughs> Um, he used to say years ago, the devil made me do it. You know, and that's that that's funny. But we have a lot of control over our actions. And so it's kind of like, you know, you know, the, the, the parable about the man who plants a field and he planted weed and then overnight the enemy planted tares or weeds. Um, that's what this is like. God planted wheat in all of us. In our well, God planted good in all of us. Um, and when we find Christ, for those of us who have found Christ, the Holy Spirit is in all of us. But what we do with the Holy Spirit, with, with what the Holy Spirit gives us or shares with us or what the Holy Spirit has brought into our lives, we determine whether it's going to do good or evil but it's going to be good or bad. We have got to quit abdicating the authority and the power that God has given us in this world. That's the deeper thing. We have control over a lot more because of free will. Now we can be influenced by good or evil. I agree with that. You know, we can be influenced by evil principalities or angels. We can be influenced, but we have the final say of whether the tree, the fruit on our tree or the things in our wells are going to be good or bad. We have the final say. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verses 26 through 28, when the children of Israel were led, um, were about to go into the promised land, this is what they were told. See, I'm setting before you today a blessing and a curse. The blessing if you obey the commands of the Lord your God that I am giving you today. The curse if you disobey the commands of the Lord your God and turn away that I command you today by following other gods which you have not known. 
And basically just saying, blessed are you if you obey the will of God, if you obey the word of God, if you obey the truth of God, if you're taking everything that the Holy Spirit has brought you and you're using it for God's glory. And we learn in the word how to do that. If you're taking that, then, you know, um, you're going to have blessings. It's going to automatically happen. God is not sitting back there passing out blessings. You, you get what I'm saying? It's inherent in how God created it and, and, and in creation. And so you're going to be blessed. But if you don't, he said, listen, you, curses are going to come upon you. Not that God is going to bring them. They're going to come. If you go out, if you go out and break the law, if you don't get caught, you're going to jail. Or you may die, depending on who you're dealing with. You know, if you don't love your nurture your children the way God has told you, your children may grow up to be angry and 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 um, their hearts are hardened, so they're not a blessing to this world. They can be a curse. But if you nurture them and love them and give them everything they need according to God's plan, then you know, don't get me wrong, things happen, but the Bible says they will not depart from it. They will return for, to it. And I have to go by that. That's all I know. So I wanted to tell you today that everything in your well, whether you put it in there, whether God puts it in there, and I, I, you know, it, it, it is, you determine whether it's going to be a blessing or a curse to the world. Deuteronomy chapter 30, he reads like this, verses 14 through 16. This is another analogy. But the word is very near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart so that you may obey it. See, I've said before you today, life and goodness, as well as death and disaster. For I'm commanding you today to love the Lord your God and to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments, statutes and ordinance so that you may live and increase and the Lord your God may bless you in the land that you are entering to possess. It's the same way. Blessings or curses, life and death, or prosperity um, and goodness. You choose. It's your life. Or better yet, it's your well. Much love, Keita.